hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we're learning a, a very unusual tutorial which is a vital part of today's fashion beading so i'll be teaching us how you can bead um ankara fabric okay yeah there are several ways of beading so starting with the tools you need your needle the very small size I think this is size um, I'm not sure of the number but it's the very small one it's not the regular needle then these are your rice beads the short ones and I also have my long rice beads but I won't be using it for this particular dress because of the design I have on the Ankara prints so I'll be using this short um, rice beads so I have my beads here um, the plates okay then I have what is called a treader okay it's used to pass thread you know on needles that are very small you know needles for beading and for beading are very the eye is very small so you can struggle to pass the thread so that's what the treader is used for but it's not compulsory yeah, it's not compulsory so um so far so good i've beaded one side of my um dress now for the design of your beading it depends on the pattern of the fabric for my own dress you can see that it has stars on it and it has some lines so um basically i'll be beading the stars then i'll also be beading my bone channel because this is a corset dress so i'll be using a smaller piece so that we can see the beading properly so this is um a piece of my fabric so um i'll show us how i beaded um the stars so first you pass your thread from the wrong side okay so that the knots will not be showing outside this is this is the right side of my fabric and i've passed the thread from the wrong side okay so now i'll just pass my beads into the thread okay so um, you know the beads are very small so i'm passing about four or five of my beads so when you pass it you still need to measure if it hasn't passed um the length you want to work with and this is a star so basically i'm arranging the beads on the edges of my of the star on the fabric so let me bring this a little bit closer okay so you can see that the bead has gotten to one edge of the star there then i'll just take my needle to the wrong side and bring it back on the right side of the fabric more like i'm trying to uh, create a stitch okay okay but it's going to be very tiny so that the space between this stitch and where i'll place the next set of beads will not be too big okay so now that i've made a very tiny stitch there okay so i want to arrange my beads on the other edge of the star right so i'm just placing my beads into the needle while i was shooting i didn't know that um, that part was not showing sorry about that so but basically i'm just putting my beads into the needle okay so here you see that so i've arranged my beads again and it seems as if i still have a little space there so i'll just add one extra bead so you see the process is not it's not so stressful but it needs to be very detailed okay so that everything is all nice and cool and very precise and all so here i've arranged my beads on one side on one edge of my star so next thing now i'm going to create that stitch okay can you see what i've just done yeah so basically you create a stitch after you've um, arranged the beads now it depends on the um, design of your ankara yours might be a circle okay yours might be a square so i can't say this is the amount of beads you're going to put part time just follow the shape of what are you whatever you're bidding on so now i am going ahead to arrange my beads on, on another edge of my star okay a star doesn't have less than five um edges yes so i'm just fixing my beads again don't worry i will still zoom the camera so that we can see clearly yeah 
I'm fixing my beads. So I try not to fast forward this part so that we can get it. Okay, so um, for the third edge, can you see that? So I'm, you know, I'm creating my stitch again. Just stay with me through to the end of this tutorial because the fixing of the bead for the bone casing is quite different from this one. Okay, so far so good. Can you see what I've done? I've arranged my beads around. So I have a stitch each time I get to the edge of the star. So I want to close up this particular stitch now. I'm just adding one more bead. So this type of bead is called rice beads. It's different from the sand beads, okay? There are different types of beads in the market. If you want to make a beaded fringe, the long rice beads um, is faster to make because it's longer, so you spend less time. Okay, so let me come back to this. So now, I've added one more bead. I want to close up the beading of the star or my design. Okay, so I'll just add the last bead. So, okay, now that it's fine, I'll now pass my needle to the wrong side. I want, or better still, I can still create one more stitch first. I'll create a stitch, a normal stitch first on the wrong, on the right side of the fabric. Then I will pass my needle to the wrong side <clears throat> so that I can create my knots and all on the wrong side of the fabric. So this is the wrong side here. Okay, so I'm just going to secure the bead, okay, by tying my thread. So I'll just do a stitch again like so. I'll do a stitch like this. And um, instead of passing it through, you could actually do that and still tie it. But tying is your most secure method. That way you're very sure that the thread will not um, break okay so like I was I was saying something about the beaded fringe beaded fringe is very expensive in the market it depends on the length of the beaded fringe can be as low as 3,000 can be as much as 14,000 per yard yes so but with your bead of probably two, with one pack of bead of right beads which is just 2k you can make a 14,000 naira beaded fringe so if you like me to do a tutorial on that, you can indicate in the comment section. That's a different way of bidding. Okay. So this is our design so far. So good. So this is how I, you know, beaded the stars on the um, cup of my dress. So let us quickly go to the bidding of the bone um, casing. So like I said, my dress is um, a corset dress, so I have bone channels. I've already done one of the bone channels, so I want to use the other bone channels on the front to explain to us, okay? The method of beading is, is not exactly different, just the technique is a little bit um, slightly different from the way I arrange the stars, okay? So it's very simple. First thing first, I'm going to pass my thread from the wrong side of the fabric. You want to make your beading as clean, as uh, neat as possible. So I'm passing it from the wrong side of my fabric directly under my cup or the under bust. Okay. So basically, we're going to be beading from one end of the burning casing to the other. Okay. More like you're drawing horizontal lines. So let me just zoom my camera a bit. So that we can see what I'm doing. So these are my beads here. Okay, I'm still working with the short rice beads. So um, I think for my moon channels, I'll be adding about seven beads horizontally. Don't worry, you will see it. So I'm just passing my beads. Okay. So like I said, if you want to learn how to make a beaded fringe, you can indicate in the comment section. <coughs> so here. You can see that I arrange my beads horizontally. Let me still position my um, camera a bit closer. So you can see the beads. I've arranged it to one end of the um, channel. Then I'll just create a stitch downwards. Okay. So you want to be careful that you don't have excess beads. Then you start folding because your beading must lie flat. Okay. 
okay i think we can see it better now you want to make sure the bead lies flat and it's not folding so once you create it like that you add another set of bead okay make sure it's even and then here you can see so i'm just going from one end to the other i'm going from one end to the other one end to the other so when i arrange my seven beads i stitch on one side go back like that so it's like left to right left to right okay so far so good i'm almost done so i want to show us how to end it i think i have about two or three more lines to go before i end it okay <sighs> Yeah, so I'm just fixing my beads. So like I said, you must make sure that you're fixing the same number of beads per time. You can't fix six on this line and fix seven on the other line. It's not going to be even. Except in cases where, you know, the beads, they are not exactly even. So, except you have very tiny ones that you want to add to make up seven or something. Huh? So, I'm still fixing. Now, I want to do the last line last line so i'll still fix my bidding like again but like i said for this particular design i'm doing seven beads per line okay so uh yeah so for your own ankara um fabric you might have a different pattern okay but basically the patterns on the fabric should dictate your design so now i want to close up my bidding i'm going to pass the thread to the wrong side of my fabric but before i do that i'll first of all create my normal stitch okay sorry i still have one more line to go sorry one more line one more line to go so i'm just still fixing the bead you can see that i'm going from left to right right to left so that's how it is being done and um, basically this stitch will be at the edge of the boning casing so i'm just trying to round up like so Okay, so I was saying something about the design. I said the design on your fabric will determine how you're going to place the beads. Okay, then your colors to matters. You can see that my fabric is the main color. Of my fabric is um, um, yellow. So let me pause that. I'm passing my needle to the wrong side of the fabric so that I can do all the tying and all the knotting on the wrong side okay so i'll say something about the colors yes your color of b2 should also matter you should work with colors that co um, complement each other like this is yellow and then red bead okay i can't do black on yellow it won't come out you know so your choice of colors sh should also matter yeah so you can just check google for color block or something you see how to combine colors so yeah i could also do that on the back of my dress that's the channel but at least we've seen the outcome of the bidding yeah it made the stars to pop out more yeah so i hope you learned something from this tutorial if you want to learn how to make a beaded frame let me know in the comment section do not forget to like subscribe and share thank you